Who wants to be that lady that I sing the song to? I said, I'm gone. You, you don't seem excited at all. Did you not hear the song that I just sang? And you're just like, yeah, I'm not bothered if it's me. Let me start again. I'm gonna sing the song to a lady in the audience. Do you want to be that lady in the audience? Oh my God. She's very shy. God bless her. Okay, hold on. Hold on. That lady, that, no, you, that, you picked the wrong person, that one. Yeah. Hello. What's your name? What is it? Mariana. Mariana. Where are you from? From Hungary. From Hungary? Oh. I can't sing it to you. I've got to pick somebody from Belgium. I'll see you in Hungary, okay? Yeah, no. Oh, you live here? In which case then, Mariana, from here, I will sing this song to you. I was her... you got a very, very good grip. Very, very strong, Mariana from Hungary. I was her, she was me. He's not going to hit me, is he? If there's somebody calling me on, She's the one. Marianne, Mariana, Mariana. Yeah. I was her. She was me. We were one. We were free. But if there's somebody. Me on. For Mariana. If it's somebody calling me on, she's the one. Really, really strong grip. Are you a swimmer? We were young. We were wrong. We were fine. Congratulations! She
Okay. So, um, what happened? Did you propose or something? Is that what happened? You proposed? Uh, my eyesight is fucking terrible. You did it. You did it. Yeah! Come on, everybody. Give them a round of applause. They did it. I don't mean to spoil anything, but I think the sign was for me. It says, will you marry me Robbie on it? <laughs> Congratulations, guys. So, uh, what a night tonight. Has everybody enjoyed themselves? Everybody had a good time? Yeah. It's vitally important that I give you a good time. And it looks as though somebody's given me a telephone number so they can give me a good time. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but that's very nice of you. It says, uh, thank you, Robbie. Thank you for everything you bring. Magical moments in our lives. God bless you. God bless you too, baby. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thank you. Thank you. It's, it, is, it is flu season after all. Uh, bless you, darling. That's very touching. Now... So, over the years, I, as I have told you, I have been to rehab, I have been in isolation, I have suffered, I hate it when people say suffered with mental illness. I've just had mental illness abound since I was very young and it took a very long time to get through the other end and then sometimes it comes back and visits me and sometimes it's crippling but it hasn't been crippling for a long, long time. My kids have given me purpose. Thank you very much. My kids have given me purpose. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, in 2006, I decided that I had retired. I'd retired from public life. I didn't tell anybody because, obviously, that was bullshit. And here I am on stage in 2023, not retired. There's a reason for that. So, everything got on top of me. The press... The huge fame, the cocaine, the drinking, the self-hatred, the uh, imposter syndrome, the fucking hell. How, how the fuck is this happening to me? Why is, the, is this happening to me when I'm shit? The lack of self-worth, the self-hatred, all of those things. And then, and then the isolation and the staying in, the not coming out. And... Uh, they were, they were some, there were some miserable fucking times. And it came close to me leaving the planet a few times. Imagine that, leaving the planet when it's such a beautiful place with such beautiful people. But, I will say this. Two things, mainly, have kept me safe and sound. And obviously the first one is my wife, who I've been with for 17 years. She's fucking amazing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And, uh, and then the children arrive, and then the, the focus shifts on you, the narcissist, to them, the little fucking narcissists. And uh, you have to take care of them, and then the focus is now shifted off you, and there is great purpose, and there is a reason to be on the planet, which is to guide these beautiful souls. But, the second thing that has kept me safe, even before my wife and my children arrived, and this is absolutely true. When there was incredible levels of self-hatred and just fucking, what is the fucking point? And why is this? And it seems that I have nice people that like me, but there's fucking shitloads of people that hate me. And I get it because I'm shit. And that's what my brain thought. Now, whilst I was isolating, one thing kept me safe. The knowledge that you were there, out there somewhere, and the knowledge that you liked me, and you would come see me, and you would support me. And I genuinely mean, from the bottom of my heart, without you guys, I don't know if I would be here or not. So, I want to thank you. Thank you. I 
And, uh, uh, and you know, at one point I asked you to grow old with me and it would seem that you are growing old with me. Lots of people have lost their fucking hair. <laughs> Incredible. And through it This is where we go, and we agree. 